Yeah. That shit is just sad, man. That shit is just sad, man. Um <sighs> Tonight, an exclusive interview with a woman attacked and robbed, and Houston police are showing us new surveillance video of the horrific incident. And she was picked up, body slammed to the ground. Zach Tautari joining us from the Texas Medical Center tonight, where that woman is. Well, back to the president. Back to, back to, back to um, March 11, 2023. Of the horrific incident. And she was picked up, body slammed to the ground. Zach Tautari joining us from the Texas Medical Center tonight, where that woman is being treated for life-changing injuries. Zach? I spoke to that woman, a mother of three from Vietnam. She was hurt so bad during the robbery, she can't walk. It's gut-wrenching watching this video of 44-year-old Nung Trung, who tells me through her kids, she was beaten so badly, she still can't feel her left leg nearly a month later. They don't know when, but they can walk again. The surveillance from Houston police shows a suspect walk right up to Trung and wrestle her for her purse. After he grabs it. Right here, she had a chance. You see the hesitation in her gait, um, Cook County? Nah, she, Viet, she from Vietnam, bro. She got it. She know, she know about some people. Mm -hmm. So she felt like she can, you know what I'm saying, fight them. I think right here she 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 just was she didn't know it was on. I think she thought she tried to move to the side because usually when when two people are walking like this, one person will take one side, one person will take the other side. Right. Yeah. Let me see. Them. Let me see. But no, no, no. Usually somebody would go to the right though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She went she, to the left. But she sees him making a beeline. Usually the man moves. No, I, that's true. No, that's true. Minute. Usually the man moves to the side. He's walked, he made a beeline for her, so she probably was like, oh, shit. Something no, no, you're you right about that. Let, let me watch it again. Go ahead. Right up to Trung and wrestle her for her purse. It happened so fast, man. God. No, nah, you're right. You're right. I don't think she didn't know it was on. It just happened. She was, so she was very casually walking past. Yeah. It, it, it just like she, I, I don't think she had a chance. I think it was just. Was when, when 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 certain things like this, there's nothing you can do. After he grabs it, you can see Trung pick up the money envelope. That's when the robber grabs her again and slams her to the ground, grabs the money, then runs away. It fell over over everywhere, and he he smash. I know, like maybe depending on the age. No, no, no. Yeah, that's a hundred percent smash, bro. You tripping? Don't be a non. Don't be a these chicks be decent. Yeah, no doubt. But came back and assault her. Police say the suspect likely followed Nung for 24 miles after she withdrew about $4,000 from a bank in southeast Houston. Then she drove to a business on Bel Air Boulevard to pay for tickets to visit relatives in Vietnam. In the video, you can see their passports scattered during the robbery. It's not a big loss of the money, but the big loss is her leg. A month after the incident, Trung is confirmed. Damn. You can't even, you Vietnamese, if y'all own a store, y'all can't even, like if some son sisters coming in stealing, and destroying the store, you can't even lay a hand on them or the fucking nation of Islam. See, like, <laughs> with like with these people, right? So everybody, this is like, how many people listen or whatever it is. All right, let's say if y'all are going to, uh, y'all need to take out money out of the bank, right? Please get to the bank when the bank opens. Like, stop going to the bank in prime time or what, one o'clock two o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock get to that bank as soon as it opens and get y'all money out and don't walk out with the envelope in your hand oh hell no but it's just like a lot of people they just think like you know what i'm saying i can go to the bank around two o'clock when i do this or on my lunch break and all this other shit. some people are up now so the hunt has begun <laughs> We up down to o'clock. No, yeah. man, listen, bro. I start work. I start work sometimes at nine, and I start work sometimes at eleven. Man, when I tell you at nine o'clock, some people ain't up yet. You know what I'm saying? It's chill. Yeah, yeah. Round two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. it's fucking. It's it's carjackings now. It's it's going down. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, they they leaving the, the the teens are leaving after lunch. They're leaving school after lunch. Fuck and, school. Yeah. They don't go to school anymore. I. They just waking up. Wow, man. Oh. A month after the incident, Trung is confined to a wheelchair. She can't go to the bathroom on her own, and she's in rehab, hoping to walk again. Big. Yes, excellent. I just she gotta learn to walk again, and that sun man didn't do nothing. That was one sun man. This story I'm about to show you with this other woman in Philly, she had six on her. No, she had eight on her. They arrested six. Need to practice trying to walk and stuff. With her family by her side, she's asking for the public's help in catching the person who did this. I'm very sad that this happened. A hundred, to me a hundred motherfuckers just, know who that is, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, look at him. That is a clear video. That's a clear photo. Yeah. Everybody, everybody know who that is. And he wear that fucking hoodie all the time too. Hey, hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand. Like vets understand, especially like, like you know, what I'm saying coming from the background, they don't change, bro. Mm -mm. Wow. So what's up, Wicked? What What up, Chief? Yo, may, maybe, uh, maybe some folks don't watch the news, like they don't have IDs, you know, to vote. Yeah, hey, hey, wicked, wicked! Don't, 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 don't uh, underestimate my people, man. They got IDs, they got fake uh, LLCs. They was getting thirty k uh, in twenty twenty, man. Don't, <laughs> yo, don't trip on us, yo, Cook. Yeah. I feel you. However, the liberals are telling me that some people don't have IDs. Uh, yeah, man. Ain't the ain't the liberals said that? Yeah, man. Oh, we got Fabian in the building. Fabian with the Cook County. What's happening, man? Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? I'm just chilling. But what are your thoughts, man? <laughs> About what this uh, this robbery here? The fact that this robbery and the oh. fact that gliders like Scott <laughs> Adams, yeah, gliders like Scott Adams want to get away from them, and they haven't even. They haven't even dipped their toe into the pond yet, and they already want to get away. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just it's a circus. It's a circus. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, man. This is this is. A I mean, you're right. Thing. It's it's interesting. I mean, it's kind of like that. That kind of speaks to a little bit of you can notice like when when Scott Adams made that video, I haven't seen anything else that he's done other than Dilbert. Right. Mm -hmm. And I guess he's got a channel or something. And he makes videos. So there have been people who have commented on it that are more familiar with his style of speaking mm -hmm. and the kinds of things he says. But only having seen that one thing. He was responding to that poll. Right. Right. And he was acting like shocked. <laughs> You know, yeah. like what? Whoa! If well, if these people, I mean, it was that, and also he mentioned seeing videos of sun people beating up gliders, right? Right. But yeah, he's not even responding to just walking down to you know not being able to go outside at night or being in a situation, you know, being in situations. He just sees the pole and he's just like mind blown, <laughs> and, and it's kind even, of he's not responding to coming to hearing something on your porch. Looking out your window, and there's a sun teen on your porch using your outlets. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah. come say something to him, and then he summarily comes to break your windows every night. <laughs> yeah, and it's I mean, what do you think? It, it 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 seems to me that people in that gliders in that situation are less prone to say things like what he said. Like you have to be kind of naive in order to just blurt out, well, yeah. they hate us this much, we gotta get out of it, you know, because gliders that are in the midst of that situation like you get the cues of you know what you're kind of supposed to think about it and say about it and stuff like that you kind of keep your mouth shut you know and you don't because that's a kind of a i don't know if it's it, it it would make you seem more vulnerable to act that naive like you didn't already know this right this is this is this is sad i feel so bad for this woman this I, I don't think he knew i don't think that guy he looked like he didn't know because I, I heard he's a liberal yeah, no, he doesn't. Scott Adams is, doesn't has never lived a day in Blackistan. He just he he doesn't know. Family by her side, 
She's asking for the public's help in catching the person who did this. I'm very sad that this happened to me, and I just want to let people know to be careful. There is a $5,000 reward in this case. If you know anything, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. And tonight, even though that suspect took thousands of dollars, her kids say it's their mom that can't be replaced. At the Yeah, they're lucky he didn't kill her. They're very lucky he didn't kill her. Um, Very, very, very. He's one of the nice ones. He's a merciful one. Yeah, very, very lucky. She met a nice, friendly, gentle gentleman young a young gentleman yeah i mean she is i mean listen man because she didn't give it up remember she was struggling with him she didn't she didn't give it up right away oh she's lucky man um but yeah so let's 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 see this, this philadelphia story man um action news we have now learned six kids are in custody in connection with that brutal attack of a woman near philadelphia's city hall police now say eight sus near city hall <laughs> there's no, there's no sacred spaces. <laughs> brutal attack of a woman near philadelphia's city hall police now say eight suspects in total have been identified or eight there are eight suspects in total and they were all behind the assault that was caught on camera last month Action News reporter John Paul joins us now live from police headquarters with these very latest developments. John, this is all rapidly coming together here. Yeah, it is just in the last few minutes, Sarah. 